Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a quick recap of the Toledo Wale versus the Wheeling Nailers, as the Wheeling Nailers are not able to get the goal output to be able to come close to beating the Wale in this series. As the Toledo Wale were able to keep right on rolling, it took them a while to beat the Cyclones in seven. It was much easier for them in this series as they beat the Wheeling Nailers in four. This series had a lot of similarities to the Everblades and Iceman series, as a great goaltender in Francois Broussard really struggled against the favorite team, the favorited team, I should say, the Florida Everblade. Well, in this series, Goydon really struggled against the favorited team, the Toledo Walleye, who were the favorite team in the West to go to the Kelly Cup. So he came in, struggled in the first game, left four goals on five shots, and they were just down and out after that. Now, the good thing for them, just like Charles Williams was able to come in <clears throat> and mend the fences, I guess is a way you could put it, for the Jacksonville Iceman, Mitchell Weeks, who didn't even play in the regular season, had three astounding games of a great save percentage and an under two goals against average in the postseason. So it's good to see his coming out party in this postseason. He came in and allowed one goal and made 19 saves in that game. And also, he was the big reason why in that 5-4 game that they, uh, while I were actually able to get some goal outputs, um, he was a bit, or not the Walleye, that the Nail was actually able to get some goal outputs in the 5-4 loss to the Toledo Walleye. He was a big reason why they were able to kind of scratch and claw their way back into that game as they were able to bring that one closer. But unfortunately, obviously, after that Jocelyn goal, that was their fourth, they were not able to get over the hump and be able to extend that one into overtime. But again, um... Weeks was the reason why, Mitchell Weeks was the reason why they were able to battle back in that series. So struggling starting goaltending just like it cost and hurt the Iceman did even though just like Charles Williams stepped up for the Iceman and Weeks stepped up for the um, Wheeling Nailers, it still kind of cost the teams in the end because it threw the momentum completely in the realm of the other team and the Walleye really got momentum from just railing on them in game one. Then in game two, they were able to win 5-2. to two. That game, uh, Guidon was able to actually keep himself in the game. And then uh, when it came to the third game, that was that 5-4 game we just talked about. And then in the final game, it was 3-1, to one, where in that game, they didn't even bother uh, throwing Guidon in cage. Uh, they just ended up actually giving that game to Mitchell Weeks, who ended up having a good game. But again, the Wheeling Nailers could not get over the hump in their goal scoring output, and that's what really cost them and did them in in the end in this series. You got to be able to score to win, right? And then they were able to score enough goals, but if you really think about it, they didn't score a lot of their wins other than one in this postseason that was against the four wing comments. They only scored three goals to be able to get their wins max, other than that one win they were able to get the four goals. So it's not like they've been winning with a lot of goals. Back on the 23rd, they had that 4-2 win over Fort Wayne. Otherwise, the most they've been getting is three, and that ain't going to cut it against an elite offense like the Toledo Walleye and the fact of Goydon's struggles. I would say those two biggest things, the offense not being able to push enough for the nailers and the fact that their starting goaltender started really struggling, uh, really is not going to help you in the end, obviously, in these situations. Of course, Weeks uh, was really able to step up, and that is absolutely fantastic to see for Wheeling going forward. But unfortunately, similar to what happened with the Iceman, their struggles of their starting goaltender just put the momentum so far in the favorited team's side that they were not able to rally back, and that's what contributed, not the only reason, all the other reasons I laid out in this video as well, were the reasons to it, but that was a contributing factor to why they got swept. Um, this has been a quick recap of the Toledo Walleye versus the Wheeling Nailers. Mitchell Weeks and Guidon, I do think, though, just like I think Charles Williams and Broussard is going to be a good pairing going forward if both teams decide to keep that going forward when it comes to the Nailers and the Iceman. I do think it shows success budding forward and building forward, but obviously as the fans of both of those teams, it's hard to look at it from that perspective. But I do think they both have two good goaltending rooms moving forward. It's just it did not come to be with their starters in the in their series. And for the Wheeling Nailers, unfortunately, Guidon struggled big time in the series, but also their offense was not able to get him enough support either, so it's a two-way street, right? Well, please continue to subscribe down below or up above in the easy use ridges to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. We really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Enjoy the hockey.